I am calling this video the first thing, the first 18 days with Kit or the first 18 days with my puppy. Don't know what I'm gonna use yet. And if I think puppy can get me more views, then I'm gonna do it. Yes. <laughs> I wanna get views, obviously. But guys, the first 18 days with Kit. Here's Kit. Let's get a little bit of you on here. We're gonna talk a little bit about everything. Um, spit it out, spit it out. We're gonna talk about a little bit of everything on today's video. We're gonna talk about his training, his doctor visit, and how things are going for the first 18 days. It's probably gonna be a long video. You're gonna hear traffic sounds. You are. So I'm just kind of preparing you. But guys, the first 18 days with my puppy Kit, I'm gonna let you know how everything went and how everything's going. And let's start off with the doctor's appointment you have Monday. Just to let you guys know, this video is being recorded on a Wednesday. You are seeing this on a Friday. I have to do it this way because I can only do things when I have time with Kit. We'll get into that. But let's talk about his doctor's appointment. He went into the doctor and when we got in there, it was a big dog that came in, a big Labrador mixed with Shepherd, I think, similar to him came in and the big dog kind of gave out a little growl to him. Kit looked at it and his heart was just a beating because I was holding him and he growled back at that big dog. But he got weighed and you ready for this? Don't pull me, honey, okay? He got weighed and he's almost 18 pounds, y'all. Now, the thing with that is the harness we have for him that I can't wait till we can fit it is 20 pounds and up. So he's got a couple more pounds to get heavier. He will, though. Well, we took him back there. Um... The doctor gave him a shot for, oh shucks guys, I don't remember what the shot was. And then he put some junk down his nose, that's for a kennel cough I think. And he says, well that way, you know, in case you have to, you know, put him in a kennel or something. and Or he may be, you know, for dog parks, which I'll get to that. Then we got some medicines for a flea and tick. And got some medicines for a heartworm, which were chewables. And he says next month we come back. He put some more of that junk down his nose. And after that, he should be okay to be around other dogs. And pretty much take him wherever I need to take him or where I want to take him. And then we also will talk about getting him neutered. I think that's what it is for boy dogs, male dogs, neutered. Which will be in his six months. But yeah, he is. He did a full checkup on him. He is completely healthy. And I'm gonna tell you guys, I, I've been to some vet visits in the past with my other dogs. This guy was awesome. He did something I've never seen any other veterinarian do. He looked inside Kit's ears and then smelled them. Yeah, he smelled them. And I'm like, you good doctor, you good. But guys, that's where we stand on the vet visit. Everything turned out really good. Now, it did confuse me. I know I'm making this clip long. It did confuse me because when we got in there, I was wondering how many shots he would get. And I was like, well, since after today's shots, we'd be okay to go to parks. And, you know, um, and the lady's like, well, he won't be fully vaccinated. I said, well, I'm wiping off his paws. She's like, they get it through their nose. And so, and then he says, you know, that's what that one shot was for. We go to dog parks, which is notorious for nastiness. So we're going to play it safe. We're going to take him here and there. Maybe this coming weekend. And until then, he's still going to be in the yard, at least until we get him back for the next visit. All right. Let's talk about the training. It's going to be hard to do holding the camera, but Kit, come. Good boy. Okay, see if I can do it. Okay, Kit, sit. Sit. Good boy. Now here's the one we've been working on. Kit, down. Down. No, no, baby. Down. <laughs> Hold on, honey. Come here. Okay, Kit, sit. Down. Down. Good boy. Them are easy things to train a dog. Kit took to, took to him very, very well. The thing I'm also working on is, let me show you real quick. Okay, I'm going to give him a treat. As soon as he gets a treat, I grab his collar. And the reason I'm doing that 
and he's eating that grass like crazy. Come on, let's walk around and talk, kid. The reason I'm doing that is for when I put his collar on him, I don't want him pulling away or biting up my hands. So I do that quite a bit. I will give him a treat and grab a hold of his collar. I won't say nothing. And I do that quite a bit. And also I'm teaching him to come to me. Out here, he will come to me every single time, guys. Every single time. Inside the house, a different story. If I'm by myself, he will come to me. But when my kids are here, my wife's here, oh, it's a whole new world. So I'm working on that still. And as far as his walking, when he's with me, and he's going into stores, he does very well in some stores. Walmart, not so well. I'm using the command to me and I'm keeping them next to me. As far as me walking them in zigzags and I use the shepherd hooks in that one video, I done away with that crap. What I'm basically doing now is I'm doing my zigzags on my own. Okay, kick to me. And then what I'm doing, I'm doing full circles. Get to me. To me. That's how I'm doing it without the cones and shepherd hooks. Them shepherd hooks. Oh, Kit pulled me. Sorry, guys. Them shepherd hooks was a bad idea anyway, y'all. It just wasn't working. He was getting confused. I was getting confused. And I didn't have the cones I used for Stormy. Guys, let's go inside. I'm going to show you how I kind of up to date. Today's been 18 days. How I puppy proofed the house up to date. Now I'll tell you the way we did have it. Okay, we're going to keep this down a little bit. I still have uh, some of my adult children sleeping in their bedrooms because they work the night shift. <sighs> it may be a little dark in my house. My sunglasses tinted up. Or I'm sorry, my prescription glasses. But the first thing we updated was we noticed the other day, well, we knew we was going to need another crate. Now, as far as it being called a crate, I've called it a crate. I've called it a cage. I've called it, well, what we have now, I call it a tiny home. <laughs> But we knew, Kit, no, we knew we was going to have to upgrade. You know, uh, one day he's probably going to sleep in bed with us. But until that day comes, we knew we had to upgrade. And so we got another crate, but we didn't use it until two days ago. I was sitting here watching Kit in the old crate. I was paying an eye on him, and I was paying attention to him. And I noticed Kit, no, no, no. Yeah, I'm going to show that, too. You, you kind of destroyed that. Come here. I was watching him and his head, when he sat, was at the top of the crate. I said, Angie, we gotta use the big crate. You wanna see the big crate? All right, I was trying to get kid inside the big crate. I played a minute, honey. <laughs> but there's the big crate, guys. Really, really, really. You don't say. <laughs> you don't say. Well, go get a toy and we'll play and we'll just make the rest of this video later. You choose, what do you wanna do? What do you want to do? <laughs> see, this is a sign of Kit. You guys don't see much. This is the uh, the playful side of Kit. And you got to be careful, too, because he will nip your fingers. Big time. Look at that. He will nip them. And that's a no-no. No bite. No bite. Nope. No bite. No bite. No bite. Calm down. No bite. Let me give you a nibble. Yep, no bite. Easy. Good boy. Good boy. That's my baby. <laughs> and then he's back at it again. So, we now are not using the little crate. Um, long story on that one. We are bedrooms downstairs, and we have not used it. We've been using my reclining couch. Only because... Uh, we... Well, to be honest with you, uh, we have not 100% prepared our bedroom to be puppy-proofed. And that's going to be changing this weekend. That's going to be changing. But guys, holy smokes. I haven't had time to do a lot of stuff. See, I work from home right now. And I'm with Kid all day long. Everything I do has to be around him. Everything has to be around when he takes his nap times. Or he's in his cage chewing on one of his bones nicely and calmly. That's when I usually go edit the videos. And every so many minutes, I lean back in my chair from the office and I just see how he's doing in the crate. Now, I can always close the crate door. That door only gets closed when he's sleeping through the night or 
when we're having suppers. Yes, I put them in the crate, and when we eat, I, I, I might seem cruel, but that's something I didn't do with my other dog. I should have. Okay, I puppy proofed my house on a poor man budget. What that means is I used the materials I had here already. I can't afford to go out and buy things made for puppy proofing. I had to get smarticle. Well, I started off with cardboard. It worked for two weeks. Give me a break. It honestly worked for two weeks until you figured out, wait a minute, I could chew on this. And also, I have one baby gate, which was left over from when we had Stormy. And we'll get to that in just a minute. As you notice over yonder here, I have a screen. Now, that's one of the places I had the cardboard blocking off the power cords. Well, I was like, well, that cardboard wasn't working, but so far that screen is. He can see them, but he can't get to them. It's working for now, but he also likes to bite on this. And one of these days, he's going to reach up and get my keyboard. And right now, he's... Ouch! That hurt! He bit my hand. Uh, this happened right here within long enough for me to go get him a bowl of water and come back. He had a chunk out of the floor. Now, these power cords right here, he hasn't messed with yet. And I haven't found anything to block them yet, but I am keeping a close eye on them. But then again, he got a hold of that within just a couple seconds. He may get a hold of this. So I'm going to work on that today. So far, he hasn't messed with it. Okay, we did have the baby gate back there blocking off where the bathroom and the office and stuff was. The reason I moved it here, easy buddy, easy, is because we had to change end tables. Uh, hold on. If you go get me a toy, we could play. Why don't you go get me a toy? We will pay, we will play fetch. Yeah, he plays fetch real well, by the way, guys. Well, the end table, eh, he, it just wasn't working. It was not working at all. It had a lot of opening gaps. And behind where the end table was, his power cords, behind the couch. Just a lot of things for a puppy to get himself in trouble with. So Angie says, well, let's use that big, huge crate that uh, a computer came in. Damien's computer back about a year ago and we will basically see how that does which is completely solid there's no opening so it was a win-win at least we thought two days ago I noticed he went over there start chewing on it he got off a wood sliver about like that and I was like oh my god got the wood sl sliver out of his mouth and I was like that's too dangerous you swallow that oh no so that's why I took the gate right here and this way i got the whole crate blocked off and that blocked off and that's how i puppy proofed that area yeah the other area <laughs> let me show you that now when we first got kit the first ooh, eight maybe nine days he was allowed to go in the kitchen that's where his water bowl was as long as we kept the laundry room door closed there's nothing to hurt him in this kitchen then I learned, wait a minute here, I'm not keeping an eye on when he goes in the kitchen. See, with a puppy, you got to keep an eye on them at all times. You want to make the places they could go very limited in the beginning. So what I did was I went ahead and took an old screen. And let me show you. Yes, remember, poor man budget. This screen broke off my sliding glass doors back about three years ago. So what we did was we put it. And we'll just slide it. And the edge is, is very sharp, so we didn't get cut. We slide it. So we go in. We close it back. That's going to work, I say, for a little bit. But let me tell you something about that. Just like the child gate and that, that's only going to work until he gets a little bigger. And then he's going to jump it. Mm -hmm. He would probably jump it. Then again, the child gate actually worked for our dog stormy which was a grown-up dog at the time we were still using it and she just knew she wasn't allowed to be on that point maybe that would be for kit but that's uh, pretty much it guys the rest of that i got a spoon water bowl over here by the cage uh i got some power cords over there covered up uh the power cords over yonder here covered up 
The thing that's open right now, I do have some bookshelves in here. The big cage, let me show you. The big cage is actually covering them bookshelves up. Okay, a door can be closed, but so far he hasn't went through that. If he does, I could stop that as well, but he could probably crawl underneath. That is an open bookshelf. He hasn't messed with it yet, but if he does, I've already had something on standby to cover the books until he gets bigger. Now, as far as underneath the entertainment thing here, he hasn't messed with the uh, Xbox, which belongs to my kids, and I think that is a Wii U or something. I don't know what that is. It belongs to my boys. He hasn't messed with that. But at the bottom, he has tried to get into that box. I was supposed to throw that box away last week and I forgot. That's what his um 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 puppy playpen indoor and outdoor came in. Okay, right now he's laying down for a nap. And this is where I get my relaxation. If I'm able to do it, I will pull off a five or ten minute nap right about now. If I'm able to do it and just keep a very close, um, I can't hear all this here, but uh, I won't close the cage. Like I said, we only close the cage twice a day and that's when we're eating or it's nighttime. But when he's taking a nap is when you do things for yourself. Where was I? What was I going to say? Oh yeah. As far as the people he, he, he gets along with best in this house. The number one is Angie, my wife. Angie is his absolutely favorite. Now, yes, Angie's his favorite, but when it comes to her taking him out or doing anything, he absolutely will not listen to her. Mm -mm. She is a human shoe toy. He a jump, he a throw, he, he, he totally acts up. Now, the second favorite he has is my daughter Elizabeth. Okay? I put some shorts up recently on that. Mm -hmm. Uh... The next in line would be my youngest son. Now, as far as me and Justin goes, he doesn't really pay my oldest son any... Eh, he'll look at him and growl at him once in a while. As far as me, I get comfort sometimes. He'll come up and love on me. In the morning, he'll come and say, hi, Dad. But beyond that, no. But he throws no fits for me when I have him outside. He, uh, pretty much, I'm the trainer. Uh, yeah, he's a mama's boy, <laughs> and I don't mind. You know, even if he, I mean, in time, he probably will warm up. I mean, he's warmed up to me. It's just that I'm, I'm dad. I'm the, the authority. I'm the boss. On occasions, he does come up and want to, want to love on me. Now, I get that love when I take him into stores. Mm-hmm. Uh, he, he stays right next to me when I pick him up. And a lot of times I have to, and he's heavy. I get that love all the time. Now, outside the house, out there in the real world, he does have a favorite. Her name is John Ashley. Actually, her real name is John Ashley. She is a friend of ours. Uh, I'm not going to tell you where she works or anything, but we see her quite a bit. And he totally adores her. One day, her dog and Kit are going to meet. Mm -hmm. But that's not for a mm, couple weeks yet. We want to get him his um, canine thing that goes through the nose first. He's getting ready to take a nap right now. I don't want to get too close because I don't want to disturb him. But he's in his tiny home, which I call tiny home. I call it a cage or we call it a crate. I mean, look how big this sucker is. Holy. The other crate he had, you could fit four of them in there. <laughs> Yeah, he kind of outgrew that already, but he's getting ready to take a nap. So what that means for me is I got some things I need to get done, like dishes. So when he takes his nap, I will go in there and do the dishes. And every so many minutes, I come and check on him. Later on today, on, his, on the next nap, I will edit this up. And I will check on him every so many minutes. Because that's what you got to do when you raise a puppy. You have no time for yourself anymore. <laughs> He is doing better the 18 days now. He's fully out of his shell. We see how smart and intelligent he really is. And not to mention he's growing like a weed. You know, every morning we look at him and it's like, holy. Every time he takes a nap, we're like, did you grow an inch? <laughs> uh, I'm still working with him on the training. That's come along fantastically, actually. 
It's just I do have issues when everybody's in here and I got to take him out. He'll want to run. For, he, he don't want to do it. He'll go to the door like he's got to go out. I get up, get the leash, go over to him. He'll run from me. I'm working on that. So what I, I means I'm training him more when everybody's here. Come to. Come to me. And plus, giving him a treat and grabbing his collar. That I'm hoping then plus is walking outside every chance I get. It takes time with a puppy, y'all. It does. And yes, since I'm here, because I work from home when I can, ah, that's going to change probably when the oh, next couple months when winter comes. <laughs> uh, then I won't be here. Well, we'll get to, into that down the road. Oh, God, I'm just going to be lazy right now, guys. <laughs> Every second of the day, I am doing things for Kit. Mm -hmm. And like I say, he's getting ready to take a nap. That's the time. I do things that need to be done around here, or I try to get a five-minute nap in. You don't want to get no longer than a five-minute nap, especially if you're going to leave that cage door open. Mm -mm. Bad news. But like I said, I only want to close it when I'm eating or when we're eating or bedtime. He's free to go in and out as he chooses. And if he's really bad, you do not put him in the cage for a punishment. What I do is when he's really, really bad and he's acting up, I will ignore him for about a minute or two. You dang straight, I will. I will turn around and ignore him. Has that been working? Hmm, not so much. But he'll figure it out. And I also learned when he was whining the other day, when he gets overtired, he that's when he's whining. And also when he gets overtired is when he's wanting to nip. Like, you seen that a minute ago. He's tired. That's why he was acting up more. Guys, I'm going to go ahead and close it out now. Uh, any questions, comments, concerns, leave them down there. I was going to make this video even longer than what it is now, which is pretty damn long. But, hey, I got the free time. And I only get a little window of this. And I'm going to go do my dishes. And if he's still out, then I will catch a five-minute nap. And then we got to go do something Kit and I do. And he is getting better in the car, by the way. Yes, I am going to take him out of the basket because he's outgrowing the basket. I'm going to... Basically, oh, I wish I could get away to put a seatbelt on him, though. I turned off the airbag, but I'm still working on that. I'm still working on that. Uh, there's things you could buy. I just haven't got this for it now. But, guys, until next time, thanks for watching. And this weekend will be probably when I make the next videos of Kit. I'll be making shorts. Keep an eye out for the shorts. But maybe we'll do something. Just maybe, just maybe, he might be ready for fishing. Don't know yet. I may hold off on that. And God, I miss fishing. I do. My puppy comes first. I may hold off on that until we go on vacation at the end of the month. By then, he'd be closer to getting his next shots. And we will see. Until the next time, mm, I'm going to go get dishes done. Maybe I'm lucky enough to catch a five-minute nap. Come on. She and I get out of here. Thanks for watching.